In this tutorial, we are going to see how to convert numbers that contain a decimal point to base 10. The first one we have is 11011.110, but all these numbers are in base 2. We want to convert them to base 10. We start with the first digit, which is 1. We times it by the base 2. We add. The second one is 1 times 2. We close. We add. We have 0 times 2. We close. We add. 1 times 2 again. We close. We add. 1 times 2. The other numbers are after the small point. So let us assign our index first. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we move on, plus we have 1 times 2, plus 1 times 2, plus 0 times 2. So we assign index from this first digit after the decimal point, minus one, minus two, and minus three. This is how to do that. We start simplifying. Two power four is two times two, four times two, eight, times two, 16, times one is also 16. We add. 2 power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and that 8 times 1 is still 8, plus this is 4 times 0 is still 0, this is 2 times 1 is still 2, 2 power 0 is 1, then 1 times 1 is 1, we add, for laws of indices, 2 power negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 is the same thing as 0 0.5 and that 0 0.5 times 1 is still 0 0.5 this is the same thing as 1 over 2 power 2 and 2 power 2 is 4 1 over 4 is the same thing as 0 0.25 and that 0 0.25 times 1 is still 0 0.25 then the last one, zero times whatever is zero. So we have zero. Now let us add. So we have eight plus two is 10, and 10 plus 16 is 26. 26 plus one is 27. Uh, so we have 27 point. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75 plus 0 is the same thing as 0 0.75. So we have 75 here. But this is in base 10. This means that this number and this number are exactly the same, just that they have different bases. So now let us see how to convert this one to base 10. We take the first digit here, which is 1. We multiply it by the base 3, we add, we take the second one, 2, we multiply by the base 3, we add, we take the third one, 1 times 3, we add the last one. So we stop before the decimal point because we are going to have different indices, so this is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Then we move on, plus 2 times the base 3, plus 1 times the base, plus 1 times the base. But we start with negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now let us simplify. 
3 power 3 is 3 times 3 9 9 times 3 is 27 27 times 1 is 27 plus 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 is 18 plus 3 power 1 is 3 times 1 is still 3 plus 3 power 0 is 1 and 1 times 1 is 1 plus 3 power negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 3 and you know 1 over 3 is the same thing as 0 0.3333 recording times 2 we are going to have 0 0.66666 so we have 0 0.66 recording plus 3 power negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over 3 power 2 and 3 power 2 is 9 so 1 over 9 it is the same thing as 0 0.11111 recording times 1 is still 0 0.1111 so we have 0 0.11 recording then plus the last one and 3 power negative 3 is the same thing as 1 over 3 power 3 and 3 power 3 is the same thing as 27 because 3 times 3 9, 9 times 3 is 27 and 1 divided by 27 is the same thing as 0 0.0370370037 037 recorded times 1 is the same thing so we have 0 0.037 recorded so we want to add all of these numbers together we have 27 plus 18 plus 3 plus 1 plus 0.66 plus 0.111 plus 0.037 all of this we have 49.81 in three decimal places so this is our answer in base 10 they are exactly the same thing with this just that they have different bases this is in base 3 while this is in base 10 so this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day